I won't say, Andrew, that Stuart's lucky um, because nothing comes without hard work and, and, and long hours. But a young trainer that wants to get involved, you know, they have to go and search for owners. They have to sort of really start with five or six horses and, and, and build up. But Stu, maybe lucky is the word, or blessed, or, or whichever you want to do, where, where you're taking over quite a few horses, quite a few owners, so that does help to give you a little bit of a kickstart, but it's also very well rewarded, in my opinion. Yeah, no, it's a big up, and like you say, it's hard to start, eh? it's, um, it's, you know, because you're only as good as a horse you train, you, you know, if they're bad horses, they're bad horses, they can't run any faster than they are, so, you know, yeah, obviously it's a big help, and yeah, I'm lucky to, 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 to um, take over, you know, those the 30 odd horses that, that, that are going to be there. Welcome to another edition of In the Box Seat with myself, Warren Lenferna, my trusted uh, good friend, half retired, half working, on my left, Andrew Harrison, and recently licensed trainer, Stuart Not Ferry. Not yet. Well, I mean, if I was a betting man, well, I, no, I am a betting man. Well, you might fail his driver's license, so then you're in trouble. <laughs> no, we've passed our, uh, you passed we've passed license. our license and we've uh, passed okay. the exams. So no, you passed the exam. Now it's up to head office, yeah. <laughs> so the exam's been passed. Yeah. Now it's up to head office to give the big tick. Yeah, they have to sign off. That's it. But surely, I mean, you've been in racing almost your entire life and you still have to write an exam. Well, you know, there's rules and stuff that they want you to learn, but... Uh, yeah, well, you, could, you could probably teach them what to write. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Ferry is uh, with us in the uh, clubhouse. We're back at the clubhouse. We've missed a few breakfasts along the way because uh, we haven't been in the clubhouse for a while. Just as well. Well, the shirt's not fitting too good anymore, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, it's the three of us today at the Summerfeld Clubhouse, and we're going to chat to Stuart Ferry about this ex- exciting chapter of his life and the exciting chapter of his career. We all know that Dennis Dreyer's, after so many years of giving his life and his family's life to this wonderful industry, has decided to put his feet up and go and retire down in the Cape. And do we wish him and Jill and the entire Dreyer family all the very best. And we can sincerely thank them for all they've done for the racing industry over. How many years was it, Stu? Uh, well, listen, I think he started with Uncle Sid, I think, in the late 60s. And I think he took out his license, and I think... Uh, 77 or a little bit before then even so yeah so middle 70s let's say yeah so 77 was politicians here yeah long time eh? mm. long time so thank you to uncle den and uh, the whole uh, dryer family but of course gavin van Zale too has uh, sadly given up and is now going to be working with his son gareth so that's an exciting chapter in his life too and there was one other any news on Com Nadu's health? No, Komi is in, he's in high care at the moment. So he's, he's improving. He's still running the stable from his bed. I think you can't pry the cell phone from his hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, but shame. He's the, the loyal owners are all leaving in a hurry. So, yeah, so it's, from, it's quite sad to see. Yeah, okay. Stu, let's talk about... Um, before we talk about Stuart... You had a go at me before about my lovely new cap, proudly sponsored by Jet Dark. Well, it hasn't even got to the stud yet, and you got a cap. Hell, I don't play. I mean, I don't play. But never mind that. You having a go at me about my my sponsored cap? You tell me you're going on holiday again, and but never mind. You're not going to the game reserve this time. You're going to the Seychelles. Yeah, well, someone else is paying for the right price. I'm keen. Sure. Say, Charles, oh. can you believe it? Only Trainers don't get holidays, eh? I was just <laughs> going to say, poor you, I mean, you're sitting here salivating, no. wishing you could go no. to say, Charles. No more holidays for a while. No more. Oh, well, Alphonse Island, we can speak to, to Jeff Perkins, isn't he? Half of it, <laughs> he yeah. does, he does indeed. But let's talk about things now, because... It has, you say, when, when are we going to open the race card and see trainer Stuart Ferry's name there? Ah, uh, that'll be from the 1st of April, yeah. 1st of April, yeah. okay, so the whole month of March. Uh, is Dennis and Jill back from the Cape? Uh, are they going to just stay down there, or has is, is things been wrapped up yet? Yeah, no, the horses actually left this morning, so they'll be back tomorrow, and then uh, they'll be here for uh, a week or two in the middle of the month. Okay, just, just to, to wrap, wrap up things, things yeah. yeah. Okay, and then, uh, so they, they, their plan is, they've, got, they've always had that little flat down in, in the Cape, so their plan is they're going to be there? Yeah, they're back to Sea Point, yeah. Okay. We were just chatting off air, you know, uh, people will say, oh, well, he's landed with his bum in the butter, 
that he, he just sort of takes over the reins. Uh, but you were just telling us uh, off air that it's not as easy as that. There, there's a lot of costs involved and there's a lot of paperwork involved. Yeah, obviously. I mean, it's the same as any business. You've got to obviously set up a company or whatever, and that costs. And then, um, you know, obviously licensing fees and all the authorities' acts need to change. So it's actually to start off with, even though you're inheriting it, there's, there's a little hidden cost that you think, oh, it's, it's going to be easy, but it's not that easy. But uh, listen, well, if, as long as you've got the horse, it's a big up to start with. Stuart, was it maybe a stupid question, but maybe not, because some assistants are happy to be assistants forever, um, and, and that's, that's also fine. But is it sort of a case now, your dream, your real dream's been met or, or a mission accomplished? Was it always an intention to take out your license one day? Yeah, I think it always was one day. And also, you know, there, there's limited I mean, to get, there's not that many assistant trainer jobs going at fish, you know, everybody's got there. So if you wanted to, it's hard to get one. So yeah, but uh, yeah, then like, always was, a, I suppose, uh, somewhere along the line, I was going to take me out myself. I won't say, Andrew, that Stuart's lucky um, because nothing comes without hard work and, and, and long hours. But a young trainer that wants to get involved, you know, they have to go and search for owners. They have to sort of really start with five or six horses and, and, and build up. But Stu, maybe lucky is the word or blessed or, or whichever you want to do, where, where you're taking over quite a few horses, quite a few owners. So that does help to give you a little bit of a kickstart, but it's also very well rewarded, in my opinion. Yeah, no, it's a big help. And like you say, it's hard to start. Eh? It's, um, it's, you know, because you're only as good as a horse you train. You, you know, if they're bad horses, they're bad horses. They can't run any faster than they are. So, you know, yeah, obviously it's a big help. And yeah, I'm lucky to, 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 to um, take over, you know, those the 30 odd horses that, that, that are going to be there yeah but it's also hard for the young trainer too because I mean if you start off you're looking at, at, at hidden costs like saddles bridles yeah. you know, that sort of thing you know, I mean, that doesn't come immediately to mind when you, when you, when you start out uh. no exactly and obviously you, do, you know I know the staff have got good staff so yeah, they, you know, know, they know exactly what to do I mean like you know we can't, they could run it themselves virtually from now you know so because nothing's going to change and and yeah, so it's all the same horses, all the same staff. So in that way, it's, in that way, it's, it should be hopefully an easy. And you still, you still got your same uh, head groom. Is he? Tell us about him. What is his name? Who is he? How is he? No, news, news, news uh, has been with the boss. I think. Well, there was there's two. The men's men started with him back in whenever, and then news, news came. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but he's been there a long time. And uh, like news, if you if you want to ask, like the boss will ask news. That horse. Is, one in 1973 what was his name and you'll remember he's okay. he knows exactly and you I think I think Mr. Slack used to give him racing posts or something to read so he knows he knows about <laughs> international well, racing yeah, as from well years yeah. ago he'll tell you about some horse that won the derby or something and from years ago so you, 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 you've got two assistants um top quality been in the game for a long time I mean that's gonna you know you must feel proud that you're able to take them under your wing and continue with them yeah, like I say, those two fellas, uh, they they're could like, run the yard on their own. Yeah, they're like they? gold, man. You yeah. don't find boats like that in no, no. Just going back to authority to act and, and costs, etc. So, of course, I didn't think of that. You know, all the owners now have got the authority to act with Dennis Dry. They haven't got the authority to act with, with Stuart Ferry. So that's sadly a cost for them that they're going to have to sort out. But no doubt they'll do what they have to do. It is what it is. Yeah, and obviously there's a lot of paperwork if you're taking over. And then, like, we, I think we race on the second. So... For those horses, you have to, you know, the paperwork has That's to be done, and, and then those with four or five partners, you know, they get four or five signatures. That yeah. Sometimes it can take a take a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully they get twenty draws, so you don't have to run. <laughs> no, they features. They must run that. Day. Oh, features. Oh, okay. <laughs> and along with Dennis um, retiring, have any of the owners retired, or ninety-eight percent of them transitioned over with you? No, listen, my ninety-nine percent of have stayed. You know, one or two horses have gone. Just to someone, and for no other reason, like owners uh, have got horses, so other trainers and whatever. So, yeah. So no, I'm actually only, actually only three, I think, or two, two really, and one is the bosses. So, which doesn't really count. Um, how many, how many horses? Because I mean, we talk about the old days. I said, well, the old days, just the other day, really, not the old days, when when stables in KZN and stables in South Africa had a hundred horses, hundred and twenty horses. Um, 
Dennis was, he had his hundred horses and it's, it's reduced. I mean, everyone has, has just scaled down because it's a sign of the times. But how many horses have you got now and how many horses are you taking over? Yeah, no, I think there's 39, I think. 39. Yeah, yeah 39 to start with. Okay. All right. Well, there might be 38 because one has just gone bolting <laughs> down, the, down the passage there. <laughs> no, 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 not mine, so it's fine. Um, Will you be in the same yard, exactly the same yard as Summerfelt, or are you going to move yards? No, no, it will be exactly the same. Everything stayed the same. Yeah, your, no. your car goes to that yeah, stable no, that doesn't autopilot. Know, it doesn't know any other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, but your, your plans for the future, I know you're a very laid back, sort of uh, go with the flow kind of a guy, which is probably one of your greatest attributes, uh, is your temperament. But are, are you looking to beef things up? Are you, are you happy with the 39? If, if new owners come, I mean, uh, what are the plans? What, what are your th- uh, thoughts? What are your plans? Yeah, what do you want to do with your business? Yeah, no, listen, I think, when you, like, I don't have, obviously, I don't have an assistant at the moment, and because it, it's not really, with well, that number, it's not really viable, but like, 50 horses be a ni- is a nice manageable number for someone on their own, you know, yes. it's, um, you can keep your finger on everything, and and uh, then it can be a, you know, profitable a profitable business. So, 50, around 50 would be like the, Okay. Obviously, you, you're never going to say no to more, but sure, like sure. that, just more than that, then you're involved you hiring more staff off. and assistants yeah, and yeah. Voila, voila, voila. So, yeah. Okay, well, there we but go, like ladies 50s. and gentlemen. 50 is the number. Stewie's on 39. We've got to help him get up to another 11 or so and more if needs be, but he'll employ an assistant if he has to. So, uh, nice that there's some stables open uh, in the new ferry yard. Will Dennis and Jill have a share in a horse or two with you going forward? Yeah, I think so. You know, obviously, I've got a few shares and a few. Um, the one is actually staying, we can't blame them. The one's staying in Cape Town because and, and, uh, they obviously want an interest when, they, yes, when they're living in there for, to go to the races. So, so one is actually staying, and I mean, that pretty that ran in the Cape Town, the other ran third. So she's staying. But yeah, they've got shares and a few others. And yeah, we'll just, yeah, like I said, nothing is really going to change except the name in the race card. That, that filly that beat uh, Captain's Ransom the other day, is she coming back? Yeah, no, she's coming back, yeah. yeah. Obviously, they will be able to earmark something into the upcoming KZN Champions. That'll be nice. To yeah, no, listen, her aim obviously will be the sprint at Scottsville. That'll be her, okay. her main aim. Okay. You say nothing changes. Sean Veal, a huge asset to the stable and a character of the highest order. He'll still be um, uh, uh, chirping every day with you? Yeah, no, he'll start coming <laughs> with his... Uh, <laughs> good attitude everything's everything's a good thing but uh, yeah no listen uh, it like i say it, it's worked well for the last how many years so yeah. why you can't fix what ain't broke so yeah, yeah that's a great saying that you don't fix what ain't broken all right so lovely that sean will still be working closely with you do you have an accountant or, or do you use a do you use like a facility like equine or one of those administration companies uh no we've got bev who oh, yes, Jerry, bev. You know, yes. d- daddy's sister yeah, is yeah. so yeah. she's been doing the book for for Dennis and Jill, so she'll just, okay. she's obviously knows, she knows all the, she's got all the paperwork, she knows the billing, she knows everything, so like I say, that's all, just gonna all is going to carry on, exactly the same. You were asking, um, what? Uh, I forgot his name for a moment, Stuart, it's twice now I've gone blank <laughs> with you, once in an interview, and twice two, and twice in an interview, but uh, Stuart, you were talking to me, he said, lucky that he's got a reputation and, and, a, and, and knows a lot of breeders, because now, Sales, you're not going to be able to stay home for the sales. No, we'll be going there, but that's, 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 that's a plan is for, you know, Dennis and Joe will come, come with me too, you know, for, for, for a while because keep, give them an interest. And, sure. And uh, so, yeah, so, they'll, so we'll liaise with them and he'll be like my bloodstock agent. That's good. <laughs> no, Jill's got a good eye for yeah, a horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has. So, yeah, so they'll, has they'll, they'll, do, they'll do the agency work. But I mean, you, you won't be a. Uh, uh, you will go to this. Yeah, 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 go, yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do, do they get commission? <laughs> no, we haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> you can do a trade exchange. They can choose the horses of the sales. He'll give them a discount on the trade. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stu, social media and marketing, and I know that you and a cell phone are not great friends, and I think for that matter, I think uh, Dennis wasn't either. Um, <laughs> A great friend with a cell phone, but that's a sign of the times. Everybody's got that cell phone in their hand. They're looking at Facebook, Instagram, marketing, etc. Are you going to s- get sh- uh, ferry racing stables a little active on social media? Yeah, no, so well, I've obviously set up a Facebook page or whatever, and um, I've actually, I mean, 
I got an Instagram account, but not that we use it much, but it's there, so it's 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 there. So we'll use that, and yeah. So it'll be. I mean, I'm going to call myself SHF Racing. So that's what it's going to be. My initials, or whatever. SHF Racing. To make a note of that. SHF Racing. Hey, so yeah, I'm sure do. something like t- that'll be a Facebook page title or whatever somewhere around there. Something to do with that. Okay. Well, so. that's uh, that's exciting. SHF Racing. Yeah. All right. So social media will look out for that. We'll get, we'll get someone who's a bit more technologically advanced than me. To <laughs> <laughs> I've got somebody. Sort that out. <laughs> yeah, to sort that out. Um, okay. We've touched on Dennis and Jill's plans. They're going to be living in, in, in Cape Town. So that's good. Of your current string, um, obviously there's a handful of unraced horses. I mean, in that respect, are there one or two youngsters sort of showing a little bit of excitement? Or yeah, we've got a couple of. Uh, the two year olds that stay behind they were running beginning of April May time uh, and some have come on you know some have come on well others have, obviously some are a bit backward whatever but yeah they, 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 they're they doing everything I've asked them so far and uh, yeah then we you know we haven't I mean I haven't actually got not too many really older horses you know lots of three year olds uh, there are not too many older horses older older horses you know I've got a couple of them hanging around yes. well Francis, that's a good start Francis though because yeah. I can't find races for him so yeah yeah but i mean it's, it's good to start with a young string rather than a no exactly yeah, yeah no, like I say, the most of them are yeah. most of them are three-year-olds have you got your colors if you're, you're registered owner have you got salts no 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 not yet. well maybe that might be you know, no i mean i will i'll take over my dad's colors my name was a life man had life colors so i'll just take them over okay yeah. okay no, but you don't want your own colours because you end up owning half your string. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's part of the marketing, you know, where you say to the owners, well, come on, I've got a lovely cult of filly here. I'm, I'm going to keep 20%, you take a share. It, it, it helps a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe like know. they could be some syndicate covers or something yes. like that. Same like Dean Kenemo done, you know, yeah, he's been Dean successful Kenemo. like that. So well, something like that, yeah. He's DKR yeah, Racing yeah. Syndicate. You could be <laughs> SHF <laughs> Racing yeah, Syndicate. Yeah. There we go. Um, and, and the current owners we've touched on, and obviously you're always open to receive new owners and more owners. And and it must also be quite heartwarming for you that you say the transition is, in the, is being done smoothly. But, you know, a lot of the owners could have turned around and said, I'm out of here. You say one or two may be left for, for no malice reason. Yeah. But you must also be quite proud of yourself that they've decided to stick by you. Yeah, no, obviously, like, um, I don't know how many will watch this, but thanks to them, you know. Uh, but like, yeah, like I said, most of them know, you know, I'm here and when the boss is in Cape Town, on my own, so yes. most of them know, well, hopefully they think I know what I'm doing, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, you say you don't know how many watch this. This podcast goes viral around the world. I mean, they will be watching. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, it's just a, it must be a proud, a proud achievement. It really, it really is fantastic. And you're very modest and you're very humble, and, and that's just the Stu very you know. When we talk just now, Andrew, now about greyhound racing, because we need to promote gambling on, on, on greyhound racing, and you were just telling us that you absolutely adore greyhound racing. No, I got into it when I was, when we were, when I was living in Dubai. Yes. We used to get the racing channel from England used to come, and we used to sit in the office, and uh, you had to pick a number at the start of the day, and that was your number for, for, the, rest of the, for the rest of the day. And, uh, okay. Every time I ran over, you know what I like, they come in on every... Five yeah. minutes, you yeah, know, and yeah. every five minutes you put in another ten dirhams, <laughs> and uh, that way we entertained ourselves in the afternoon a lot in the office. Do you still watch now? I, mean, I suppose. Yeah, I when I get, yeah, well, obviously I, I don't have it on my TV, don't, but when I get to the races and it's and that channel's on yeah. while we're waiting, yeah, yeah it's, I mean it's it's great fun. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we they started greyhound racing in Swaziland uh, some years back, uh, my father and I. We, which was down in Manzini, we drove down. We thought we'd have an afternoon's entertainment of the dogs. And every dog we backed couldn't couldn't take the turn. It ended up crashing into the fence. So all they just said, no, "That's us. We're out." <laughs> um, just to chat about some news, uh, as we said, we've spoken about the trainers that have retired. I know that you love a little PA. You know, I mean, it'd be remiss if we didn't work in the industry and didn't have a little tickle. But PA is your game. But do you take part in the Hollywood Bets Punters Challenge? Yeah, I do. But um, like. A, I can't win a pick six, so I don't know how I'm going to win a... <laughs> the pick eight of the whole card, yeah. Got, and that's when I've got uh, off the field, so... But Stuart, um, have you seen the news, that's why we're talking about the news, is that now they've, it's on all the racing. It's on Port Elizabeth, it's all racing you can ever play. All local all racing. All local yeah. racing. So, you, every day now you can get on uh, your Do you do punches challenge on your phone? No. Nope. No, because you're also not a fan of cell phones, but... Listen, that's, that's, that's a, what they call it, um, 
It's for the mathematically challenged. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I mean, for me, the only way for me like to win it is you got to pick the same numbers, a bit like the lottery. Okay. Know? Because okay. to find the to find the the spook, let's say that yeah. that you win it the with kicker. Yeah. 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 You're not going to pick that on. No, somewhere, so somewhere there has to be a spook for you to win it. To yeah. Correct. But also, on your own. And so you, you say that you're 100% right, and I see that there is a, you can do a quick pick on, on that. Yeah, on that's, the, uh, no, that might be the way to go. Yeah. Just push your quick pick and, 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 and have a go. I think maidens, you, can, you could maybe like narrow down maidens and plate races or whatever, yes. but handicaps, I think, so somewhere you... You yeah, but it's 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 one of those, those those things. If you're involved in the game and, and you're looking at handicaps, the more you know, the less chance no, you've got of winning. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, if you look the last couple that I won, I think the one that we've done uh, Hollywood out of money twice. I think obviously one was the Cape Town fellow. He followed Garth and DeMello to win that one, and then the, pretty much the other day too. Us, you know, that's book right, was yeah. Garth and yeah. But the one that the bloke who won the first one. He sort of ran out of ideas by the sixth race and then just took his lucky numbers for the last two. <laughs> but you're, funny, you're quite right that you mentioned that your st- the last two that were won in KZN b- both needed a dry horse to win. Oh, there was one in between, I think. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the big, the first one, the big one, was a, was the old boy Priceless. Okay, yeah. that's right. And then the last, then most last, recent one? Yeah it, was, yeah, it was Diamond Girl. Diamond Girl, that's right. I did the interview with yeah. you. It was great excitement. Yeah, that's so fantastic. So Hollywood Bets, Punters Challenge, uh, full-time now, a local yeah. racing. KZN racing season or K- South Africa's champion season here in KZN is about to take place or is about to start and the wheels are in motion. Can you believe it's that time of year again? It goes around quickly. It certainly does. Can you... It's always a, t- a time of the year, Stu, where you know, we've seen Cape Town. It's just been in Cape Town. Joburg, of course, we've still got Joburg racing this weekend. Some top quality Group 1 racing. Uh, but KZN is our focus, the main season now. I love the time of the year. No, it is. And, uh, you know, there's a, obviously our horses come back t- tomorrow and I think a few Cape Town people have are already on their way up. I know I think there's three, three on our float that are f- from Cape Town and and I think uh, like I know Dean's here and Dean sent a few up. So, yeah, they the yeah. they starting to arrive. So, I think yeah. uh, Glenn Cotson also has some that have already yeah, arrived. Yeah. Some more coming now. Yeah, but it's nice to know to see that uh, out of town is to come in. We can always give them a poking eye with a stick. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to try and beat them. But, uh, the the, the KZN teams did so well down in the Cape. Uh, they really did. Including the dry Yeah, stone. but I mean, in, in the old days, we know, when, when, when the Pains and the Browns and them used to go down to, to Cape Town, they used to give them six lover. No, there's some, I mean, yeah, there's obviously some half-decent ones in the town at the moment, but, uh, and yep. like, like you said, like it showed on the weekend, they, anyone can get beat, so. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing is, uh, what, ended up in Cape Town the stakes weren't actually going worth going all the way down there to, to race for so, uh, but now with the stakes coming up and, and all the incentives, incentives the, yeah, the racing has, has been picked up so hopefully you know, we can go the same way here it certainly is uh, was a good clever way of marketing it and it worked yeah. we, we had a lot of cases in, in, in Johannesburg and Port Elizabeth trains going down and they, they all did well they held their own they really did um, lovely to have chatted to Peter Musket this morning talking about shows you that uh, never a certainty in racing um, I don't particularly want to talk about it but it's, it's in the news it's not, uh, we're not talking about anybody's back and we by no means uh, are going to insult anybody but you get the camps where you say you've got to feel so sorry for the connections of, of Quasi for sure uh, and then you get the other camp that say no you, you know, it's, it's unacceptable yeah it's unacceptable but human error was a mistake but what are your thoughts no I, th- I, th- I felt hell-, hell of a sorry for him because he's a nice kid yeah. uh, he just got caught with his pants down I mean, but the thing is you'll learn now you never put your hands down until you pass the line yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. you must have watched that I mean quite, but quite for sure seems like a, a very very nice no he, no he is yeah, you know he obviously can and uh, yeah, no, no, obviously, and obviously on the trainers group, you know, afterwards, yeah. <laughs> the poor old, poor old Mark was, uh, <laughs> was upset. But yeah, like like uh, we said, Andrew said it was, and not, I mean, it's, it shouldn't happen, but yeah, it was an honest it mistake. Happen, yeah. yeah, You know, I mean, the poor oak, when, when Josh must watch that every time again, he must Shame. think to himself, yeah, no, how yeah. the hell did that happen? Oh, yeah. and, uh, I feel seriously sorry for Because, I mean, you think about four... 1590 meters he rode the perfect yeah the perfect yeah. race i mean yeah. if he had if he had one by short head everyone would be going 
yeah. one of the best rides of the year. Ever seen, yeah. <laughs> but today we're saying the worst ride of the year. So yeah, shame, yeah, that's, yeah. That's how it is. You yeah. make those calls and make from one from being the best ride to one to you. Yeah. But no, also I'm wondering these these uh, big screens that they have up with the course. So I'm sure that Jock check up yeah. with the screen and, and he was so far clear. You probably thought, well, nothing's going to catch me. No, anyway. exactly. It was just, yeah. How, how uh, that, that horse got up? I mean, I haven't seen a finish of a horse like that in a long time. Yeah. It was a good ride from J.P. van der Merwe, who sympathised with Joshua in his in his post race interview, but yeah, it is what it is, and uh, just keep your head up, Josh. And uh, not easy. It's yeah, as you said, it's not right, but you can't help but feel sorry for the guy, uh, and it was an honest mistake. But yeah, it's not right. Let that be a lesson, you know, as you say, for everyone. Punch yeah, them out, for everyone. Exactly. Punch them out. Even if you're winning by six, just nurse them, pass them yeah, out, no, punch yeah, them yeah. out. Be on, on guard, but. Yeah, that maybe, was maybe he was looking after the merit rating. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but meanwhile, back to the rod. What I want to ask both of you is that with the Hollywood Vets Derby in July, and I want to say it on the very near horizon, the way time flies, any horse that's picked your interest early. I'm not asking for your first choice. I'm asking for a horse that you're thinking, okay, I'm looking forward to keeping an eye leading into the season. Well, I think it's quite difficult. I mean, like. Obviously, the, the two the derby contenders are that uh, Charles Dickens and uh, so I won't see it, see it again. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. There's not too much in Joburg. That Joburg form never seems to yeah, pan out very well. You know, spoke maybe in the next after this weekend, you know a bit better once they've gone a little bit of a yeah, further yeah. trip up in Joburg, yeah, not the sure. mile. Yeah. But yeah, listen. Obviously, those Jaws in Cape Town are a thing. But three-year-olds now, I mean, they see they. They punish Mason's horse properly. Yeah. I, I, well, my three. I've got three that I'm keeping a, a beady eye on. Uh, see it again, obviously, as you just mentioned, both of you. Quasi for sure. Yeah. Talking yeah. about quasi for sure. That's. I'm going to keep an eye on that. And then uh, Rock. Rock my. I've loved Rock. He's a lovely horse. Did a beautiful action. Lovely big stride. So those are my early. Yeah. Things. What would be interesting this year is always all those old horses that have had five goes at the July. They've all retired now. You know, uh, Comedy Ding, Jet Doc. Uh, yeah, there's no standout other horses. Uh, Rainbow I Bridge, they all. They yeah. all so I think he's going to do something that's going to ra- 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 lift his hand in the next couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, so that's why I like, maybe you got to look to something, like you say, quasi for sure, that's yeah. a little bit under the radar yes. and won't come in with a big with weight. Yeah, Charles yeah. Dickens and see it again and come in with whatever the top weight a three year old can carry in that 57. Race. Yeah. Do you think, do you think uh, Charles will run? Oh yeah, no doubt he'll run. You think so? Yeah, boy. Yeah, no, no, no. You no, think so? No, I don't know. I can't. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't wouldn't know. Why not? Yeah, we. Does, uh, people are saying, does he, does he stay? Do you think he goes two, two? I think he stays. I think he stays. I think he had a b- bit of a hard season. I mean, he beat Jet Dark and Comedy Ding in, in the Queen's Plate. Easily. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he'll stay. No okay, the next question. Just ride him properly, he'll win. The next question is. Um, Again, it's it's what was. It's not it's not my opinion. It's just a question I'm asking you. Do you think he's as good as everyone makes him out to be? I think so. I, I just I think so too. I just think he was ridden a bit too confidently in his last two. That's, that's my opinion. Absolutely, everyone's entitled to. What is that saying? Everyone's entitled to my opinion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so not the case. But okay, interesting. Um, okay, so yeah. Is that awesome, Glenn Cox is uh, kept that. Uh, Casey, Captain Casey, Captain, yeah, uh, Captain or Cousin, Casey? Cousin, 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 Cousin Casey. Casey. Um, yeah, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with too. I think so. We've got some exciting times, but I agree with both you gentlemen. There doesn't seem to be a standout older horse because, as you said, the comedy things that change oh. off that they have all gone now and retired. So it could be an interesting oh, yeah. year this year. I think it'll be a great year this year. Yeah. 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 And yeah, I, I, all I, those build-up races. I mean, the, the Daily News and, and the Guineas and. Uh, and the, the, the gold challenger, I think they're going to be cracking races. Right. Let's talk about betting opportunities because we're in the home straight with Stewie. He's got to, to go home and put his feet up before afternoon stables. But I laughed because you were saying that uh, now maybe Dennis and Joe will be your bloodstock agent. Now, b- before you were the, uh, the, 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 the assistant and, and they were the boss, <laughs> now, it's, you know, <laughs> now things have changed. It's a bit the same as in Kaoting with uh, when Paul Peter was the, was the trainer and Tony was the assistant. Now it's changed. Tony's the trainer and Paul's the assistant. <laughs> and um, it's uh, always good to have a bit of a chuckle. But there's plenty of betting opportunities. Our sponsors, can you, you put your shirt well, on? Put my shirt no on. wonder there's a big dark cloud coming over. It's going to rain. I remembered it. 
Our sponsors, Tab Gold, Score 6 and Score 10. Those are the two uh, new soccer bets, Score 6 and Score 10. Do you ever punt soccer? No, I don't punt soccer. Another soccer no, fan, no. yeah. No, no, no. Watch no. You, you watch a bit of soccer. Watch soccer. No, they cheat too much. They dive and they dive. They dive. They'll be watching stuff like that. And whatever they said, they dive and then it's like they've been shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no. Well, they've got a prima donna. Yeah. Prima donna. Prima donna. Oh. Okay, so not for Stewie. Score six, though, and score ten. Those are the two soccer bets you must get involved in. And then, of course, there's card call which is a, a draw that gets done every hour on Gallup TV. You go to Tab Gold, you ask them for your, you know, your particular numbers or, or, or suits that you want, or you can just do a random quick pick, and uh, those uh, draws get done on the hour, every hour, card court. Another very, very interesting game. Greyhound Racing we've touched on with Stewie. It's one of his favourites. I must say, I've had four or five bets on the Greyhounds, haven't come close. So you say you must choose numbers. No, they were, we don't know the form, and you don't know the form, you just... For entertainment, we still. I mean, and, uh, but I think you. I mean, I think I don't know if I think if you study, I think the form can uh, can, can hold up, up and yeah, can hold does. up with the ground. But you know, also you talk about numbers and things. Uh, I had a friend that used to take every race meeting. Like he would start on the Monday, he would take a straight line, place the accumulator, all the ones. Tuesday, he would go all the twos. Wednesday, no, all the threes. Uh, and he was quite successful sometimes, I can yeah. tell you. Some, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I mean, I, sometimes, I mean, sometimes he wasn't. Yeah, the old, old man used to read for me Jack English. Uh, he always used to take his wife's birthday numbers in the jackpot. He took it for years and years and years. And finally it clicked. And it paid out six hundred and fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and then also you would have known that we spoke to you last podcast about the uh, QR codes. The QR code. So if you go and scan the QR code, which can be found uh, on the website. So it will take you through and uh, you can open a, a betting account and uh, go up and scan that QR code. One click, one scan. And boom, you're in. What do you get? You go and open an account with Tab Gold, uh, you get access to all the websites, etc., and, uh, and all that goes with it. Yeah, but it's mainly to open accounts uh, the easy way. Scan on the QR code, Tab Gold website. Then the last thing to talk about is uh, there's been some fantastic talk about soccer. Uh, although every bet I take with soccer, I don't know much about soccer. That's probably why I'm not so successful with soccer. I'm yeah. more successful with horses, not with the soccer. But there's been a couple of carryover pools, massive carryover pools, and they've been won. And, 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 and some lucky punters have won some big, big money with the soccer carryover pools. No, no, because uh, soccer is a hell of a popular sport, you know, whether we like it or not. Yeah. Um, and there's big money, big money especially. And it's also each bet you've got three choice of three, you know, win, lose or draw. So it makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, so plenty, plenty <laughs> soccer action, easier. plenty soccer action, plenty betting action, and of course, um, yeah, there's been some massive carryover pools, and uh, yeah, just keep on on the social media platforms, on, on the Tab Gold Gold Circle, uh, especially the Tab Gold platforms, you'll see all the pool carryovers and and all the betting opportunities that are available to you. It's been a good morning. It's been a glorious morning here at Summerfield Clubhouse. We tell you about the clubhouse all the time. It's open to the public. It's open six days a week, not Sunday. Sunday's day of rest. Yeah, Sunday, no one here. Sunday's day of rest. And um, it's uh, here for uh, a delicious breakfast. The view of the training center is just outstanding. And, of course, the uh, beautiful uh, landscape behind it. But, Andy, I think all that's left for us is on behalf of Gold Circle and on behalf of KwaZulu Natal Racing and on behalf of Hollywood Bets and the whole of South African Racing, to which Stewie Ferry, our good friend, all the very best, uh, holding the reins on his own. Now. No, we're holding thumbs. Uh, he can bang us a, a, long, a long price one. Every now and then. <laughs> bang us a happy. long price tip, yeah. <laughs> he's, always, he's always good to do interviews as Stuart, and he's got a great sense of humor, and he's quiet and uh, shy sort of a way. But yeah, we'll, you'll see more of him. We'll be continuing doing interviews. And of course, uh, Stewie, yeah. Uh, will hopefully give us a winner one of these days, which we'll be able to share with everybody. But that's a wrap from all of us. Stu, all the best to you, and uh, we look forward to watching your career and supporting you with great interest. Yeah, thanks for having me on here. You know, yeah, listen, I was a bit apprehensive at the moment, but yeah, looking forward to it, you know, yeah. and uh, I suppose once we have the first one, everything will <laughs> settle, <laughs> settle, down. Down. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. settle the nerves. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's it from Andrew Harrison, Warren Inferno, trainer Stuart Ferry. I like that, trainer Stuart Ferry. Uh, we wish you all the very best and the whole team behind the scenes. It's been a quick podcast today. It hasn't been our lengthy one, but we've had Stuart before and we've just, we know where he comes from. He knows what work experience he's had. We know about his story 
And this was just to wish him well and uh, look forward to his training career. From all of us, be safe, be good, and as always, we'll see you in the number one box. Thank you for watching this week's episode of In the Box Seat Podcast right until the very end. We hope that you enjoyed it because we certainly did. If you missed last week's podcast, In the Box Seat Podcast with Andrew and myself, please go and watch it here. And uh, last week's uh, episode will be right there for you to go and enjoy and watch as uh, we know you will certainly enjoy In the Box Seat Podcast from last week.